Welcome guys! Are you tired of laggy PSP gameplay? Or maybe your favorite games look a little off? Don't worry, I've got your back. Today, I'm sharing the best settings for the PPSSBP emulator to give you silky smooth gameplay and jaw-dropping visuals. Let's make your PSP game shine. Stick around, and you'll be a pro in no time. First reset all your settings to default. Now let's start. First let's tackle the graphics. Click on Settings, then Graphics. Here's what you need to set for smooth visuals. Backend, choose Vulkan if your device supports it. Vulkan is faster and more efficient, especially for mid to high end devices. Rendering resolution, set this to 2x PSP for a balance between sharp visuals and smooth gameplay. If your device is powerful, try 3x PSP or higher for stunning HD visuals. Post-processing shader. My favorite is natural colors for enhanced visuals. If your device struggles, keep it off for better performance. Frame skipping. Turn it off. Smooth gameplay is the goal. Hardware Transform. Turn it on. This helps your GPU handle the graphics better. Software Skinning. Enable this option. It can help with compatibility for older games. Upscale Type. I recommend setting it to XBRZ. This works best for most games and gives a smooth, polished look to textures. Upscale Level. Set it to 2x. This is a great balance between quality and performance. Anisotropic Filtering. Go with 2x. If you've got a powerful device, you can push it to 4x for crisper textures. Texture filtering. Set it to auto. Now let's quickly talk about audio. Honestly, you don't need to tweak much here. The default settings work perfectly for most games. All right, the settings are locked in, and it's time to see them in action. Let's test the game and make sure everything runs smoothly. Look at this. The graphics are crisp, the gameplay is smooth, and there's no lag at all. Whether you're battling bosses or exploring open worlds, these settings have you covered. And remember, if something feels off, like frame drops or glitches, tweak the settings we discussed earlier. Sometimes lowering the rendering resolution or turning off effects like anti-aliasing can work wonders. And that's it. With these settings, try them out and let me know how they worked for you in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video. Until next time, happy gaming!